celebrate European Day of Languages with us. Świętuj razem z nami Europejski Dzień Języków. La kanonin yorfach sonugit. European Languages Day is celebrated on the 26th of September each year. It was established by the Council of Europe to highlight the importance of language learning and to celebrate the diverse range of languages that we have in Europe. We wanted to share some facts about languages with you. There are between six and seven thousand languages spoken in the world. At least half of the world's population is bilingual, meaning they speak more than one language. Languages are constantly in contact with each other, affecting each other in many ways. English borrowed words and expressions from other languages in the past. European languages are now borrowing English words. For example, anonymous comes from Greek, safari and lemon from Arabic, cigar from Spanish, cartoon from Italian and ketchup from Chinese. There are also about 225 indigenous languages in Europe and there are many languages spoken in Scotland in addition to English. This includes our indigenous languages of Gaelic and Scots, the languages of the travelling people, British Sign Language and the languages spoken by people who have made Scotland their home. Why did you decide to learn Gaelic, Aileen? Well, Gaelic has always been around me. I grew up in the Highlands and my parents listened to Gaelic music when I was growing up. In primary school, I had a couple of teachers who were Gaelic speakers who introduced the language to us through song and story and poems. And then when it came to secondary school, we had to choose between French and Gaelic. And I decided I had more of a connection to Gaelic, so I chose Gaelic. And it's opened up so many opportunities for me in terms of career, meeting different people, going to different places across the world, not just in Scotland. And it's also helped me explore the world in a different way. Tell me more. So you just have to look at a map to see Gaelic in our landscape. All these place names that we see on the OS maps are Gaelic. And even in Perth itself, so we're in Craigie right now. The Craigie comes from the Gaelic word Craig meaning rock and Craigie is the rocky place. Um, and there's quarries round about, so that's probably where it got its name from. The other example is the nature. So we're standing underneath letter D of the Gaelic alphabet right now. The Gaelic alphabet has 18 letters and they're all based on trees. And D is for dar, meaning oak. So Renata, you come from Poland and you speak Polish. Can you tell me a wee bit about the Polish language and what it's like? Mm. So Polish uh, belongs to a Slavic family of languages, similarly to Russian, Czech, Serbian and a few more. I imagine that to um, British ears we sound very rustly. It's because we've got those amazing sounds of sh, ch, z, d, z, j. <laughs> we also have this um, fabulous um, tongue twister. Uh, which means a uh, beetle sounds in a reed in a town of Szczebrzeszyn and it goes chrząszcz brzmi w trzcinie w Szczebrzeszynie. Can you repeat? <laughs> Can you say it one word at a time? Chrząszcz <laughs> brzmi, brzmi w trzcinie w Szczebrzeszynie. Szczebrzeszynie. Can you give us some other examples of Polish words that might be useful for us to use or just really interesting sounding words? Mm -hmm. I think I have the love for the uh, rustling sounding words. So I will go for źdźbło, that's blade of grass. Szept, that's whisper. Szeleścić uh, means to rustle. And the more useful words perhaps would be cześć, which is hello. Okay, cześć. Cześć. What about Gaelic? Um, so in Gaelic, so hello, we'd actually probably just say hello, but in Gaelic you tend to use the times of the day. So Mathin Va is good morning and Fesker Ma is good afternoon. And we spoke a little bit about words borrowed from other languages. So the word galore comes from the Gaelic word guior, meaning plenty. 
people also learn another language because they really like a particular country or the sound of a language to learn the language of the country they are living in to communicate with friends to be able to explore another culture to help with studies or career to develop their brain and become smarter and also to help with memory and to make travel more fun and learn about a new place are you motivated to learn new skills or improve on your existing ones? If so, visit our website www.pkc.gov.uk forward slash adult learning hub for more details.